Okay, so I think we're heading to the farm. Hey, hey. Don't worry, Clementine. I'm here to help. I remember this farm. I do remember this farm. But well, you know, it's safety first. That's what it's all about. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. Sure thing. Where it was nice to meet you both. Where do you live then? Next door? Thank God you're okay. No problem. I was worried it'd be bad Who's here this guy? too. And I can't remember this. usual the past couple days. Good, good, I'm good. Reckon down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Jack. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Um, we uh, need a place to stay. Yeah, we need someone You're to stay safe. To stay here, but just for the night. I Thank you. Run a bed and breakfast. I so appreciate it's that. Just you and your daughter, then. Oh, not his daughter. I'm a babysitter. A babysitter. <laughs> Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Yes. Okay, then. Okay. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's not doing so good. Let me tell you a I story about how that happened. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Oh, thank you. He's going to fix me right up. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Well, it looks pretty deep. Yeah, it could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Nice to meet you, Mr. Green. Fix my leg up, please. How'd this happen? Um. Jumping a fence. Jumping fence. Running from something? Yep. Just like everybody else. <laughs> the law. What danger has the girl seen? Um, she watched me butcher her actual babysitter the with a hammer. Lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Thank you. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Serious is an understatement. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. <laughs> Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. It's bad. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. A couple. We got couple. plenty of chores as it is. It was one hell more than a couple. Help out in the morning. <laughs> We gotta do it, really. I already said okay. okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. We'll see. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. And we'll amputate. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. So, so Clem's face in the back. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? We have no idea. Thinking, I suppose. Oh, Sorry right. that everyone looks at Clementine. Come on in, Clem. Let's go in this nice, cozy barn and meet the other family that's in there. Oh, they're up there. It smells like... Shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. Why not? 
we, we might as well. You watch me butcher your babysitter. Oh, it. Uh, I've been there. How far is Savannah? Far. Pretty far. Oh. Okay. Damn, Lee. I really, really do. Oh, please. He's having a nightmare. Oh, God. Rest, Lee. Rest, right? I really do love the stories from Telltale Games. Hey, Brilliant. Oh, yes. I can't remember this guy's name, but he becomes a real good... Itchy. He's an awesome character. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, that was it. Kenny. He's a really awesome character. I love Kenny. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Hell yeah. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We Ken call him Jr. Duck, though. Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! Fair enough. But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> the word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. How do you know about that? Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That, that is a very pretty name. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. I agree. Yeah. Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Just don't turn Duck it on. And I will hop to it. Do not turn the tractor on. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. All right, let's speak to Clementine. Make sure she's all right. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. Uh, you two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh... How's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. First grade don't exist no more. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Yeah. Be sure to check in with everyone you met so far, okay. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What okay. is it that you do, Lee? I'm a... I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Oh, it does. My mistake. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How was the How city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Can't save them all. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Well, I was in the back of a police car. This could all be providence, you know? Not what we <laughs> saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your Maybe. optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, so can we talk to... Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or <laughs> anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Lee has no idea how to okay. talk to children. <laughs> Let's go find, um... Where's Kenny? Kenny! Like, Kenny's there. Who else is here? We got those two. Let's go speak to Kenny. He seems like an alright dude. 
It's Kenny. He's amazing. Let's chat with Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Ken dog. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Well. Do you need any help? Phew. What do you yes. mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, no kids. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Uh, what's your plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman. Sounds like Catch a good plan. Mackerel, dolphin, Do we think whatever's biting work? and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Hey, it's a good idea. It's on the apocalypse. Get on a boat. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. Oh, we were yeah. at a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Two seconds. Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Ain't nothing. See you. You showed an interest in the family. That's good. You know, we gotta we gotta talk to people, build relationships. It's how we survive. Well, at least we're walking normally now. Probably gonna need some new trousers. Let's go talk to uh uh let's go talk to the boy. Oh, it's him on the fence. Kids there, like, yeah. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. How about don't? I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> okay. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. No. Nope. Give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> right. Let's speak to uh, let's speak to Sean. Still working on that fence. He probably wants help, so let's go and help him. Hey Lee. Hey Lee, need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be <clears> great. <throat> if you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Oh, I've got this. I'm an expert with a saw. Dun, dun. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No. Well, he no. will do soon. He will I see saw a guy soon enough. I'm gonna kill a kid. A boy. What? Just shot him right in the face. Oh no. Damn. damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? I oh. shot a cop in the face. <laughs> I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Far away, this one was right in my face. Safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? <laughs> Dead. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we That's won't. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. No problem. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. It's like... Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Sure. I gotta help him. I gotta help him. I gotta help. Because, you know, gotta keep building these relationships, you know. Let's go talk to him. Lee. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? We're getting caught out. We're getting caught out. Uh, I've I got, got a ride. ride. and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's yeah. important. It's all that matters. 
Times like this, with that's all you need. Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? <laughs> Parents, wife, girlfriend? No idea. Oh, well, no, mate, we do Our know where they're are in Macon. They're in Macon. Brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. She's a true hero. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Go for it. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're mm -hmm. gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the? What's going on? No, I'll get my gun. What the? Did someone turn the tracks on? Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. This is one of those decisions I've got to make. Do I? I'm saving Duck. I'm saving Duck. Um. Oh, get off him. Get off him. Get off him. Oh my god. Lee. Lee. Do something. Punch it. Punch it. Oh, the tractor. Um. Lee. Oh dear, that's not good. He bit his bum. He bit his ass. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't just stand there, Lee. He's angry. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Um, um. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Well. Please, just go. Well. Get out. And never come back. I forgot that you have to make decisions like that in this game where it's like decide who dies it's hard but I know we build quite the bond with Kenny throughout the game so gotta save Kenny's boy you've got that ride to make it if you want it we're going to make it How about turn the tractor off? 